Welcome financial adventurers to the mystical realm of home loans where the interest rates are higher than the Mount Everest and the paperwork is thicker than your grandmother's chapatis. Today, we're diving into the top things to remember before getting a home loan. So buckle up your seatbelts or um, tighten your dhotis because we're about to take off. First things first, your Sybil score. Think of it as an academic report card for adults. A score above 750 and the banks will treat you like the Sharma Ji ka beta of borrowers. Anything less and you're in the could do better zone. So before you dream of that 4BHK, let's not forget to do our homework, shall we? Next up, we have interest rates. They're like gym memberships. At first glance, they look manageable, but misreading that fine print and you're paying for a lifetime. Fixed, floating. It's not about your swimming skills, but could keep you afloat in a sea of EMIs. Let's talk about down payments. It's like going on a date. You can't show up empty-handed. The bigger the down payment, the less you borrow, and hence, the less you pay in interest. Aim for at least 20%. It's like ordering a thali. The more you have upfront, the less you'll pine for later. Documentation. The Bermuda Triangle of home buying, where dreams and sanity often get lost. Salary slips, bank statements, tax returns. Gather them like they're infinity stones, because to the banks, they are. Miss one and your loan application is as good as Thanos snapping his fingers. Lastly, the tenure. It's like marriage. The longer the commitment, the lower the monthly pain. Oh, sorry, I mean payment. But remember, the longer you stay, the more you pay. So choose wisely, or you'll be celebrating your silver anniversary with your loan statement. And there you have it, folks, the survival guide to navigating the treacherous waters of home loans. Remember, it's not just about getting a loan. It's about smartly managing it so that you don't end up living in a castle of debt. And remember, keep your paperwork tidy and your sense of humor intact. Until next time, keep dreaming big and spending wisely. Or at least try to.